All right, so in this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, adding text to our canvas here. And the button that we're going to want to first touch on is text right here. So we're going to click on that. Of course, we want to choose a font. Um, so something that I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to show you how we can uh, not only choose a font, but uh, a writing style font because it is a little different uh, than in the... Cricut Design Space for the computer. So in order to sort of narrow this down for me so I can sort of see it all in one place here is uh, I'm going to use this filter. I'm going to take advantage of this filter button and for the type I want to put has writing style. All right now I'm going to go ahead and go back and now every single thing that has a writing style is now uh, in this list. So this one looks really good right here because uh, it shows that uh, my example of what a writing style is. So I'm going to put uh, good night on here. And now I'm done. I can click on the canvas and my keyboard goes away. So I have the text. However, that really doesn't look like uh, a writing style font. If I click on, you know, make it uh, you know, that does not look like uh, a pen for this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Canvas. Now a lot of folks will think that if you click on the Layers button and you, uh, you know, change this to a write style that it will go to a writing style font. And this just gave us bubble letters. So this is exactly where uh, where you can find the writing style for it. So anyways, you, you select the text, you click on the edit, and you see this little button right here where it says style, it says R. Um, you have several options there for you. you got regular, bold, italic, attack, bold, writing. That's the one that we need, and we click on it, and now it goes to what we would think is a writing style font. Um, so that's the the workaround with that. Now you got a lot more options here for the for the text itself under the edit, which is the the size, the letter spacing. Uh, this is what you may want to tweak if you're trying to weld some text together. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to regular here. So if we do uh, do letter space, and of course it gives you those numbers. Right now it's 1.6. You can change it to uh, to 1.1 if you want. And you can sort of see those those layers uh, those layers move there. Uh, you also have the plus and minus buttons here that will move it in increments of uh, of one whole number here, as you can see down there. So uh, you can play around with with that. Uh, if you have multiple lines, of course, when you are uh, adding adding text to your uh, layout here, you do have the option for multiple lines with this. So um, please, and then you can type in the enter key, help. Now, once we're, once we're done with that, that's where the alignment will come into play. So if I do alignment, and we can do center text. That's where uh, that alignment does work. Okay. Now, uh, can we can we edit the text? All we have to do is double tap, and we're able to edit the text. And click on the mat, and it goes back. Uh, just like um, with with Design Space on the desktop, if you do anything with ungrouping or welding, anything with this text, um, you you are no longer able to edit that text. All right. So uh, that's just a quick uh, text overview on how you can place it on the canvas, how you can choose the writing style if it does have a writing style, as well as, uh, you know, the search function, uh, you know, if you know the name of it, as well as the filter. All right.